thing it would have been a first down it was beyond the marker inside the 15 at the 14 yard line so third and four well within Spencer Barnett's range but the Chaparrales want six two wide receivers to Paxton lands right one to his left that's Wilhelm a back on either side here's the snap the turn the handoff no land is going to keep it himself he runs for the first down inside the 10 to the five Paxton land into the end zone touchdown Westlake no flag and Westlake is on the board a running quarterback. We came in talking about Caden Leone being the guy on the ground as a dual threat. This time Paxton Land takes what the defense gave him. Followed Jack Kaiser to the end zone. Touchdown Westlake for Paxton Land. A big six foot three, 205 pound frame. That's his first rushing touchdown of the season. 12 play with two wide receivers left and one right. Back to pass. Leon has time. Steps up. Tries to get away from the would-be rushers. He's off to the races and he's tripped up. A diving stop by Connor Vosick using that big wingspan. And it saved a no-doubter of a first down run from Caden Leon. And it forces a punt. How big is that play by Denham Collins? And how big is that play? Getting up off the ground and just reaching out and tripping up Leon was Vosick. Uh and they shrink up the pistol, traditional shotgun. On third down and three, Leone with time, now comes across the middle of the field to the 45 yard line where he is absolutely hammered. And it looks like he might be just shy of the yards to gain. It's fourth down as Caden Baining was the first one in there. I thought he actually fell forward for a little bit extra yardage, but Caden Baining just wrapping him up and taking him to the ground. And like Travis's chance now to go for it on a fourth down and short this much shorter than the Westlake fourth down just a couple of minutes ago but still a huge play here for Lake Travis fourth down and one they need the 44 in Chaparral territory they're at the 45 two wide receivers to the left of the formation final minute of the first quarter Leone asking for a repeat clock ticking down inside six seconds now Leone barking wants the ball hands it off to Hopping Hopping nowhere to go now trying to turn the corner he's not going to get there Right at the 44-yard line, taking him down is Judson Crockett. Crockett leading the way, going to the sideline as they try to stretch the field. And in years past, we've said that is not the way to run against this Westlake defense. The safeties are just too fast to the corner, and Judson Crockett answering it with a big fourth down stop as well. 13-6. Doan kicks this one off. It'll be fielded at the 10. Kaiser at the 20. Kaiser at the 30, breaks it outside, Kaiser at the 40 to the 45-50, and he's brought down at midfield. Shades of the kick return in his junior campaign, or excuse me, his sophomore campaign in his first ever Battle of the Lakes. He took one out to the house in the opening kickoff of the second half. Aiden Archer is the one that chases him down, and the ball will be moved back to midfield. Short porch for the Chaparrales here as they answer the score with a big return of 40 yards out Elsa's hearing as Judson Crockett shifts out as does Luke Vale. Bartlett back deep to punt this one away. It's a good snap. Rugby style punt coming and he darts this one end over end. This was going to bounce past the would-be returner, take a huge bounce, hustling in front of the football and downing it at the one-yard line. Actually call it the half-yard line. A beautiful job by Peyton Luther running that one down. And how about that punt from Brady Bartlett just sailing right over the head of Tyler Brown. Brown had no shot to try to return that one. Execution on special teams and a long, long way to go for the Lake Travis offense. Again, has three touchdown passes and a rushing score. Now pulls it, runs right, picks up the first down across the numbers, inside the 30, hurdles the tackler, steps out of a shoestring tackle down to the 20-yard line, and it'll be stopped at the 19. It's a first in Kane's red zone. Again, a stat here for Westlake fans. 14 of 15 trips into the red zone have ended in points. So from the 19-yard line is where Grady Bartlett will spot this, a 29-yarder. The snap is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 3.23 left in the first half, Westlake claims their second lead of the ball game, who lines up as a slot receiver to the left of the formation for Leone. Leone back to pass. Here comes the rush. Vasek able to get out of it. Now Leone just trying to shimmy and shake his way across the 40. He is upended there, shy of the first down. They needed the 50. He got to the 42, eight yards short, and Mason Laster takes care of Caden Leone. Man, what athleticism is blessed upon the 5'11 body of, of the senior quarterback, Caden Leone. Now with Nico Hamilton out to the 41, you haven't missed much. Westlake leads 10-7. Opening possession, and now Hamilton met right in the backfield as Caden Leone gave him the ball 
and it was Cullen Devine and Caden Bating that comes up with a huge play on a tackle for loss back to the 39-yard line. A loss of two on the play. Well, that Westlake defensive front, I've said it repeatedly tonight. I'll say it again. They have controlled this football game. Even on the deep pass that Caden Leon was able to complete, he had to avoid pressure before he got that off. They have made life very difficult for Lake Travis. Third down and 12, two wide receivers each way. As he and Hamilton splits out as a receiver to the right side as he goes in motion, leaves a wide open field for Leone. He slides down at the 50-yard line, but he's going to be shy of the line to gain. He is down. They're actually going to say that he started his slide at the 48-yard line on Lake Travis's side of the field. So not just a yard short, well short on first, fourth down near midfield. Lake Travis had the perfect play call on there. Westlake brought Mason Laster from the linebacker position. Kate Leon went right into the void that he left in the defense, but that slide going to cost him the first down. Down and 10 with three wide receivers to Wise's right, one to his left on the RPO. The handoff goes to Kaiser. Kaiser breaks three. He is across the 40-yard line before he is tripped up in the defensive backfield. Excellent job there by Lake Travis from saving a big, big run. It was Keandre Lewis that kind of tripped him up, but it's a big gain out to the 42-yard line. Big block by Twidowski. His first start pretty good against the Battle of the Lakes, man. I tell you what, this kid is something else at right guard. We heard a 40-yard line. Two wide receivers to the left of the formation. The turn, the handoff. Kaiser breaks free. Kaiser to the 20. Kaiser to the 10. Five. Touchdown. Jack. Kaiser in from 40 yards out of the score. Touchdown, Westlake. And Tony Salazar all the way out on the football field to give Richard Grigg a huge hug. That's the right tackle. I think that's the man that made the key block. His head coach 20 yards out on the field to hug him after that play. That was an impressive, impressive drive personified by the play up front. Richard Grigg with a huge block that springs Kaiser for an explosive run for the score. Helms on to snap it back to Bartlett. Barnett on for the extra point. No, it's going to be Bravo. Bravo's actually going to boot this one through. Spencer Barnett. It'll be from 53 yards out. Good snap, good hold. The boot is on the way. Line drive kick, end over end, and it is good. Wow. Another 50-yarder from Spencer Barnett. The senior comes up with a huge 53-yard field goal. Not from 59, but still impressive nonetheless as the Chaparrales are on the board here in the opening moments of the fourth quarter as Westlake takes a 20-7 lead. The Steel GMC of Round Rock clutch play. Lake Travis trying to stay in this one. Two wide receivers each way. Leon's got a throw. Here comes the rush. He gets out of it. Bootlegs to his right. Tucks it. Runs it. Trying to get there and then hit hard by Ty Ingramizer at the 40-yard line. Well shy of the line to gain. And there's a flag that's going to come in on Cole Munnerlin. As great as he has played on the outside, this is just an incredible mistake. Ty Ingramizer was the one that made the play. But Cole Munnerlin came in and unfortunately cheap-shotted Colin Devine at the end of the play. He's going to get the flag called on him as well. Teen inside, six minutes to play. Rise looking to hand off. No, play action. They dump it off, running the same play to the other side. Kaiser gets loose across the 20, bounces it outside across the 30, and just a shoestring tackle from Easton Aired away from breaking that one down the right sideline. What was second and long is now third and short thanks to the 14-yard pickup by Jack Kaiser out of the backfield. 155 yards of offense for Jack Kaiser so far in this game. That's basically 50 yards of the Westlake offense. More than 50 yards of the Westlake offense has come from Jack Kaiser. But that's exactly what we talked about. The chance downfield was there for Westlake. They took it, just not quite able to connect. Now it's third and long. Third down and 10, the ball marked at the Chaparral 33-yard line. 427 left, wise back to pass, looking to dump it off. Fires across the middle of the field on the slant route. Wilhelm with the catch, stays on his feet. He's picked up the first down, down to the Lake Travis 42-yard line. Easton Aird wraps him up, and that is a huge, huge throw from Reese Wise. Made the throw when he had to do it, and no surprise that Brody Wilhelm's the guy that was on the receiving end. That huge target for Westlake, six foot six for the junior wide receiver coming across the middle. 11, they got the 25 yard pickup and really when you look at plays across the board, Ricky, you're gonna circle that one. That was a huge third down and this one is all but over as the Westlake Chaparrales come in and stun number eight Lake Travis with a 20 to 14 victory that is 19 seconds away. 
Coach, what a game. Defensive battle right here. First win here at Lake Travis since 2006. Your thoughts? A hell of a defensive battle. I'm proud of our defense, proud of our offense. We were disciplined in the second half, and I think that was the difference to, to get over the top tonight. Yeah, you talk about that offense in a night where the passing game wasn't there. The guys up front, if, if this was one of those Thanksgiving days where they hang out the big turkey <laughs> yeah. and everything for the guys up front, you guys would have about five of those right now. All five of those guys deserve turkeys, there's no <laughs> doubt. A hell of a job tonight controlling the, controlling the game with the, we'll be able to run the football. I couldn't be more proud of those guys. There's a lot of work we just put in for this game, and that's a hell of a football team, but Tonight, our guys, our guys finished on top. So proud. There was a game in which it was like a Super Bowl atmosphere, just a sellout crowd. The game sold out in like two minutes. Yep. And everybody wanting to get in to see this game. A lot of adversity back and forth. But you guys on that line just dominated and came out victorious. Now, we knew all along the key to victory was being physical. Being physical, running the football, taking care of the football. And we did that tonight. So, I mean, what we talked about doing, stopping the run, running the football, keep creating turnovers or keeping up, keeping away from giving away turnovers, we did all those things. And that's why these guys are victorious tonight. Well, I appreciate it, Coach. Congratulations on the big win.